Okay. So now we're going to take the sleeve and this is where it gets kind of dicey because we want this crease line or the longitudinal line in our sleeve to stay with this guideline we've driven, we've drawn, but we're going to slide it up into place, keeping it along that drawn line. What we want is we want this line here, your longitudinal line, and your cap line here and here to have a relationship with this line, this line, and this line. And we want to do it to the best of our ability. So just keep scooting, just keep scooting. Now you can see I'm touching here, I'm touching here, but I'm not touching here. I can choose to scoot a little bit more. I can choose to shift just a tiny bit. And then I'm pretty close, I'm touching here, I'm touching here, I'm touching here. It is okay if your cap extends into your bodice front and your back. That is not as critical. What's more important is that this line is staying straight and even as much as you can, that this line here is touching and that this line here is touching. So what if they extend like beyond this? Then scoot it out a little. Yes, it's okay if you have a gap here. It's okay if you're overlapping here. Okay. This is not as important because we're taking out the hump mm -hmm. right here on this shoulder seam. Okay. okay. Once you have this, this, and this in relationship to each other the best you can and as close as you can, then you're going to lightly trace the outline of your sleeve. None of the lines on the sleeve will be real lines yet except for this longitudinal line, you need to know where that is. And the, so even these are gonna change. Then we're going to take the sleeve off. Okay. So now you're left with something that's like this. Now, if you're doing the female sloper and you've got the articulated darts over here on the elbow, then the next thing we have to do is we have to close these darts and that widens out the bottom and makes it square and blah, 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 blah. There's an easier way to do that. You just need to know what your wrist circumference is. And we kind of know what the difference is here from our midpoint to our exterior point. So I just wanna put that same distance on this side. And I may need a sliver of paper to do so. I'm just gonna put it on there just in case. So if I measured this, I'm like at an inch and a quarter. So I'm just gonna make sure that I have an inch and a quarter over here. And oh, so close. Then from this intersection here, I'm just going to draw a straight line to my new uh, underseam arm. And right here, I'm going to draw a new line to my underseam. Okay, so right here, and right here. And then I'm gonna find the longest point on this and that's gonna become my new bottom. I'm gonna make sure that it's at right angles on both sides. So I can't do that. I can't do that here because I've still got a little bit of sleeve that's extending here. So I'd have to do it down here. That makes this side of my sleeve a little longer. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're using the male sloper, this shape of the sleeve is already done for you. It's already achieved for you because you didn't have the articulated elbow, okay? Now, this becomes our new outline. You can choose what you're going to do, if you're gonna keep the darts, if you're not gonna keep the darts. Um, all this mess on the inside, all of that goes away, so this guideline that we drew becomes a real line. That is your separation from front to back. 
you would extend these lines over all the way to that extension. All the way to that extension. If you're gonna keep the darts, then you'd fold your darts in. Oy, to get your duck bills. I just kind of know that's what my duck bills are gonna look like. Does that make sense? And at this point, then you have just completed a kimono sleeve.